critically acclaimed Okami series is back with Okami Den for the Nintendo DS. If you've played Okami before, then you will recognize Okami Den instantly because all of the basics are there. Okami Den takes place within a year after the world changing events of Okami, in which the goddess Amaterasu has been resurrected as a white wolf who battles a land beset by demons. Capcom deserves some praise for getting the DS to do a respectable job capturing the original game's Japanese brushwork inspired art style, wide roaming questing, and celestial brush magic system. The DS stylus controls definitely give the celestial brush a more natural feel, unlike the PS2 and Wii versions. But the DS can only do so much. The handheld's toned down graphics leave Okami's flaws in sharp relief. With less colorful surroundings, the grade school dramatics and endemic hand holding really stick out and make Okami Den feel as immature as its protagonists. So while Okami Den is a valiant technical effort, it largely lacks the original Okami's wonder and awe. Also, the long, drawn out cutscenes give the game a monotonous feel, but skipping them isn't really an option if you want to follow the story. Okami Den is a well meant but compromised version of a gorgeous, captivating world. Okami Den gets three brush strokes out of five. Bonus! It's a game that wowed us at E3 2005, and it's finally in our sweaty little hands. My hands aren't sweaty. Right. Here's our preview of Okami. Every now and again, a game comes along that shows true promise. A game that defines the words innovation, beauty, and creativity. A game that has us trade in sarcasm for a soapbox. This game is Okami for the PS2. Despite the fact that the demo we received was completely in Japanese and we have no clue what the story is, we still couldn't put the damn thing down. In Okami, you play as a goddess who has taken the form of a white wolf. You are also accompanied by a bright, bouncing bug that agrees to help you in exchange for not being eaten. The world is in dark turmoil, and it's up to you to bring the color and light back to the land. And how do you go about this daunting task, you may ask? Well, the main gameplay mechanic is drawing. In your face, Nintendo DS, when prompted, you press the R1 button to turn the screen into a piece of paper. Then you use a variety of strokes to administer various effects. Can't cross a chasm? Draw a bridge. Trees and boulders in the way? Use a diagonal slash to cut them down to size. If companionship from constellations is what you seek, then you can trace the stars and bring them to life. And when things get extra gloomy, you can even draw a massive circle in the sky to bring forth the sun. Ah, happy trees! Bob Ross would be proud. But the game isn't only about wielding your celestial brush. You can beat up enemies the old fashioned way by means of nose first charges and a furious drop step. But the brush does come in handy to initiate a final razor sharp blow during battle. As you travel through the beautiful landscape, you come across many different people. These folks have different chores that they can't get done for one reason or another. As a goddess, you are the superintendent to this apartment earth, so you help your tenants through such dreadful tasks like laundry, turning the water back on, and giving people a lift. But just make sure people want to be helped first. Hey, that's no way to treat a goddess. The graphics can be described in three words. Gorgeous, gorgeous, and gorgeous. The developers have taken the art of cell shading to the next level, giving the title a very soothing, organic appearance, like a Japanese watercolor painting. Just watching the wolf run through the grass is enough to put anyone in a state of tranquil bliss. When we first saw this game at E3, our jaws made themselves comfortable on the floor. Now, after playing the demo, they've taken up permanent residence. Okami gives you layer upon layer of beauty while keeping the gameplay equally captivating. We can't wait to get our hands on the full version of this game, but since it isn't even released in Japan yet, it looks like we're gonna have to. Damn it. We'll give you a full review when the game is released in the spring of 2006.